Greetings Aries, welcome to your reading. My name is Shwanaya. Let's see what's happening in love for you today. I'm doing love tarot as you know already. I'm just going to get right into it. I know you're no long talking. Check me out on Spotify. I just released some music over there. So, whoa, Aries, ignoring drama starter, fake flexing. So, somebody here, <laughs> force or forces, they were in forces what they want. Spiritual hater looking you up, threatening, intimidated by you. So, I don't know who this is. Aries, let's just get what sign this could be. Let's move on past here. I didn't expect to see this one so early. Are we, are we even, we're not even one minute into the reading. and It's a hater. A flat on your chest, my love. Mm -mm. I don't know who it is. And I don't think that you care, but we're reading the tarot. Because we love read card. <laughs> Who is this man? One card for this for the sign of this person. Ooh. Taurus or oh, Scorpio. Okay. Somebody who has a bit of Taurus in their chart or Scorpio in their chart. They hate you. They want to start drama in your life. They acting like they're rich. They acting like they're fancy. They like to show off and things like that. And <clears throat> They don't like Aries, okay? Dragonfly it says here, light-hearted, finding out things coming to light with the debt. Relationship, relationship is over, transforming. What's dead is dead. The runner, the sword on the rose, heartbroken. So somebody evolved and somebody is ignoring this person. And because this person is getting ignored, they're blaming you. Or you are ignoring this person, this Taurus drama starter. Um, I'm getting like third party energy, but it could be, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> know your word, it says, the relationship is over, second chances, no second chances. Let's see, who is this? How can Aries know who this is? The deck now want to shuffle now. The deck is giving me some trouble here, guys. How can Aries know who this Taurus is, please? Give us about four cards. How can Aries know who this Taurus is? Twin flame in reverse with the coffin. Yeah? This Taurus, twin flame in reverse with the liberation. Yeah, your, tw your twin flame broke up with them. Abundance, wedding ring. Four cards we want to know. How can Taurus, sorry, how can Aries know who this is? Twin flame in reverse, drama starter, fake flexing, ignoring, force a spiritual hater. So it's not your twin flame, but it's okay. Let's go. Love call with the passion. That's what I'm saying. Two different energy here. So it looks like your twin flame broke up with them. Your twin flame is now liberated, reborn. There was a tragic ending here. And now there's a love call, there's a passionate start, coffee cup. Well, if it doesn't start yet, it's going to start after some time. After somebody heal and get some grounding, there's going to be a new phase ascending with the party. So I'm getting, it is this person here. Your twin flame in reverse within liberation if you have a twin flame they're liberated from this fake flexing drama starter and this person doesn't like you that's what i'm getting let's continue this twin flame in reverse here person here how do they feel about you aries your twin who is in reverse how do they feel about you four of wands twin flame card right that's what I'm saying. So your twin flame, if you have a twin flame or whatever, they're going through some angriness right now. No, it's about twin flame. It's twin flame time, guys. Right through. They, they, they put an end to a situation where the drama starts and they're ignoring them. They're ignoring the person who hate their spirituality. All right? Page of swords. And they're spying on you. So, mm-mm. 
secretly in love with you deeply in love with you aries congratulations your twin flame sees you as something to hold on to something to want back somebody who is very hard to love i don't know how you hard to love for them but they're in love with you okay they want to call you they want to have passionate sparks blowing desire burning desire they want to tell you that they're thinking about you they want to express love to you and this drama starter who is fake flexing acting like they're rich they're losing their mind how does aries feel about this twin flame in reverse <laughs> like <laughs> with the sun they are pride to you in your mind and you don't know about this aries you don't know that your twin over here fighting with a we don't know what they be yet. Judgment, you want a renewal, Aries. How does Aries feel about this twin? Four of Cups in reverse, you want to go out. <laughs> the star in reverse, you don't feel confident enough to invite them. So you're hoping that they invite you. Star in reverse is a person who is criticizes themselves so much. They will not allow themselves to do certain things. So I guess you must be of a high standard five of ones in reverse you want to stop fighting with them eight of cups three of pentacles you want to move forward you're walking away from it because of all the other competition you know you feel that five of ones in reverse eight of cups you feel that the the drama starter win the drama starter doesn't even know that you feel that they won and you don't have the person you want them you don't have the confidence to go towards them and this drama started in your energy. They're hating you, talking all kind of bad things about you. And they don't even know that you can't get the person because you are star in reverse. You don't have the confidence. It doesn't even matter because this person is not leaving you alone. Let's get another deck and find out how this same person feel about the drama starter. This fake flexing person who acting rich. How does your person aries person yeah how does aries person feel about the drama starter please how does aries person feel about the drama starter <clears throat> ten of swords i can't believe it aries ten of swords three of pentacles they're saying i don't want to work with this person we broke up i don't even know what they're doing in aries energy because we broke up okay knight of swords oh my god guys i don't even talk to it i don't want nothing to do with them they're very aggressive with your with the third party aries mm -mm. so they're saying i don't know we broke up they backstab me they betray me how does aries person feel feel about this third party here drama starter them guys sun in reverse very depressed regretting shit i don't know if they lost the baby together devil in reverse yeah man thank god i escaped that shit i escaped a ten of pentacles nine of ones they're saying thank god shit didn't work out thank god that child died if there was a baby involved this person <coughs> <coughs> excuse me aries this person is saying man the child dead and it's like a freedom it's a little demon they didn't get to bring forth no karmic picnic. What the hell I'm hearing in my... <coughs> <coughs> what am I hearing in my head here, Aries? Ten of Swords, guys. In Love Tarot, Ten of Swords represents breakup, separation, sadness, grief, and pain. In Love Tarot, Knight of Swords represents... Steady action, right? Knight of Swords represent fears of intimacy. Big changes. You understand? Impulsive behavior, fighting an argument. The sun in reverse represents boredom, lacking love. Cannot see the happiness in the relationship. Taking the lover for granted. Spying. The devil in reverse is like feeling more in control of your life. Yeah, so this person escape a big thing. This third party is spying. <coughs> yeah, running perspective foundation. So your person is saying, nah, 
I don't have time for this fuckery. I'm not staying in this thing. I'm liberating myself. I am in love with Aries. I don't want this other air sign here. Or oh, is this air here? Yes. This <coughs> air and fire. <laughs> right? So let's just see. Four of Wands. Why do they want to invite you out? Why do they want to take Aries celebrating and that? In reverse, we have time. So they, they're not waiting anymore. They want to stop waiting. They want to nourish. They want to fulfill a fantasy. They have this deep longing for Aries. But why are they saying intellectual relationship? Bitterness, resentment, anger, hurtful words. I don't know. If you guys are a little bit of fighting and then they want to get back together with you. But they page of swords this intellectual relationship lack of emotion they don't want to show no emotion um they want to open their heart and release stuff i don't know this is just bitterness resentment anger hurtful words with the distance so perhaps they were they were treating you bad because you guys don't live close together aries so they gave they gave up on it and they were just trying to get rid of you page of swords why yeah, obsession in reverse with the boundaries. Yep. Very confusing here with the page of swords though. So they're saying boundaries, sorrow, hoping. So they're saying they they don't forget page of swords in love tarot is spying, eh? So this person is spying on you. They realize that you are not obsessed and they are not obsessed either. They know you have boundaries up. They feel in the love. High priestess. Don't forget it's your twin flame in reverse. Right? So they are wondering how to come towards you. They feel in it. They know. Yeah? So they are taking their time to think before they act. Because they know they are not obsessed anymore. And they know that there may be a boundary. And they know. And they are sad about it. And they're here hoping. <laughs> that is what the page of swords is. Withdrawn. Yeah, you broken. Two of you are hurting from this man. High priestess. Mm -mm. Intuition. High priestess is clarifying itself, yeah? With the return. With the return. Mm -mm. High priestess. Conflicted divine masculine with the soulmate. Return this twin flame plus soulmate. You have Aries. Wow, you've been getting this for a while now. Aries, I guess it's your time. Congratulations! I want to know more about this. Um, third party here. Why your person saying so much bad things about them? Why Aries person can't tell us? Tell us what's going on here with this third party. You know, like a bone in their body. Why ten of swords? Why you don't want them? Ten of swords, distracted, sidetracked, delays. Why ten of swords? Elusive, deception, trickery. Because they're too shallow and they're too lie. That's what Aries person is saying. There's no depth in this shit. I'm so shocked at how this person mouth. They chat too much and they lie too much. Too much trickery with them. Knight of swords. Why? Sorry. Exhaustion, depleted, long journey with the spine and the chasing. I'm tired of this fucking person chasing me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Knight of Swords. Whoa, guys. Breaking point. Final straw. Overwhelmed. I'm tired. I want to be loyal to Aries. I'm lost in Aries. I'm hopeless over Aries. Aries so beautiful. I want to let go. Oh, what I don't need. I want to release all the devil. The sun in reverse. Damn, guys. Obsession, infatuation, adoration, addiction, past life, karma, right? Repeated pattern somewhere another time. Your person is saying, I think I've been through this shit already in one of my other lives. I'm so depressed because this person obsessed with me. They, it's like when somebody obsessed with you and you don't want them, it's like an anchor, you know. This person tired of this third party, devil in reverse. Oh my God. Resistance, suppressing. Oh boy, pride, clarity, chemistry, bitterness. Mm -mm -mm. So this person is putting up resistance. Devil in reverse. One more. Boundaries. I'm telling you with intuition. They know. Don't forget it's a high priest or a high priestess. 
they know that this third party tried to get a second chance in their energy and they're realizing it and they know it's going to bring them bad karma very smart person they're not, they're not having it they're not having it somebody here they, they're protecting their finances by having sex with the right person but Aries, you are, you don't even know all this happening because you're busy behind here with your little low self-confidence. I don't know what's bothering you about that. Let's just try and find out why Aries has, has such deep low self-confidence when it comes to this person. Let's see if we can help you. Let's see if we can help your confidence. We need a situation oracle to see what's, what is bothering your confidence. Why? First of all, what is the star in reverse? Cut down separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment with the abundance in reverse. So you guys cannot manifest together because they don't talk to you, obviously, because they have somebody else in their energy. Debt, yeah. You guys broke up. And you know, Aries is quite a passionate and confidential, sorry, confidential, yes, and confident person. So if somebody, if somebody breaks your ego... It could be a little bit hard, dead clock, coffee cup. You're waiting for them to talk to you again or whatever. It could be a bit hard for you to have any kind of faith and trust this person again. Although if they invite you out, you couldn't wait. You have this son here with the four cups in reverse. So you're ready. You have your shoes on. All I have to tell you is send the postcode, right? You're coming. But in terms of you inviting them out first, it's not ever going to happen for you. Because this person broke your ego. Okay, I know exactly what this is feeling like. This person broke your ego. They, they, they take you for granted. Like you, they, they put you in reverse and you are the star, right? You are the 10th fire side. You everybody love. You are the feature. Everybody dial your phone number every time and you don't answer it. And this person trying to make you call them. so, And you don't chase. If you're a chaser, this is not your reading. Because if you was a chaser, you would have them already because they want you. But you're behind here thinking everything positive about them and you're not acting. The self-confidence, you don't have it, right? Star energy, extreme. You criticize yourself every five minutes. Why? You don't you don't you're not you don't force yourself up. You put yourself in the back areas when it comes to this person. You don't feel like you're good enough. Why? Threaten, embarrass appearances with the intervention. Others involved. Coming together, reconciliation. You don't feel like you're good enough. You're embarrassed. Are you overweight? Maybe you're putting yourself in a box. Like, look at me. They say I'm overweight and I'm saying, what? <laughs> you don't feel like you're good enough. Uh, you know it's your twin flame, at least you know that much, right? Settlement, you know it's your twin flame. You want to get along with them. There's no hideaway, no vacation. You and them haven't had any excitement in a long time. They ghosted you and now they're spying on you on social media. You're spying on them. And you both realize you need to come together. You think you're learning a lesson. You have evidence of anxiety. The shit is driving you crazy. So you just call your head. You're not trying to get a second dose of losing your mind with this person. Although you know it's your twin. They make you feel like nothing. So you're not sure. But if they invite you, you will go. <laughs> it's like you're masochistic. Yeah, hamster wheel, hustling with the family. Four of cups in reverse. Why, why are you going to accept this? Okay, mental, prison, divine, masculine, archangel, protection. So you're saying... You already know what's going to happen. Four of Cups in reverse talks about being more active in the love life, new understanding of the love. You know your person is an angel. You know that they're thinking about you and they want you going through emotional waves. You know that you're protected from the drama queen behind here trying to anchor them down. You know angel protection is active, so you want to see them again or whatever, whatever. Why the sun? You know, you're protected and they protected. Family in reverse. Okay. In a blood side, blood tie circle. It's so Aries feeling, yeah? How did I pick it up then? I don't know. 
Lost sexual chemistry. You want the fuck. You want the fuck. Happiness. It's on upright. Mm -hmm. Alien telepathic song. Children. <laughs> you want the house and the land and the dog and the fence. And you want to... I don't see no three of pentacles here in the areas. I just fuck me still where I saw. So I don't see you want to work with them. You just want to sit up on the body. All right. Why this star in reverse? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, twin flame with the broken. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Aries, for being so cooperative, right? So you're saying, man, my person broke me, I guess, because they're broken too, because they're here with twin flame in reverse, trying to get rid of a demon. So Aries, be a little bit forgiving. I don't know what else to say here. I don't know what to say. Let's give you the outcome and then the advice. I don't. What is the outcome between Aries and their person for this spread, please? We have pretending fake living beyond their means. That is the fake flexing person. Can you believe <coughs> <clears throat> they come as outcome first card <laughs> what is outcome between aries and their twin flame please damn this your person look at that i was just gonna say person can't get a break comic third party is the outcome guys well we have to take it pretending comic third party relationship lesson outcome between aries and their counterpart please no tragedy for forbidden love in reverse you guys are gonna be together okay, you know twin flames are usually that type of taboo thing um different cultures is different location difference like uh your twin flame i grew up in the bush so if um, for a person to be my twin it has to be completely opposite i grew up in the bush so more than likely they will probably go up in the city um i am this sign and they're the opposite a lot of opposites with twin flames so it would have been a tragedy they white <coughs> and black what's the outcome so it's tragedy in reverse now because nobody cares about <coughs> that the taboo is now being accepted very good i don't know why you're going to do this third party say a prayer aries outcome interlude taking a pause okay meeting two more meeting talking discussing anxiety so <laughs> whoever is the divine feminine is so afraid that if they try to meet yeah and discuss with the, with the other person they might get a drastic cut off so whoever got ghosted is afraid of getting ghosted again what did i say <laughs> ghosted i know somebody is afraid of getting ghosted last Maybe the other person magic them. What's the outcome for this? Please, I'm trying to understand it, but I'm understanding. Denial in reverse. Roller coaster. Accepting the truth. No forbidden, no, no denial. Accepting the truth. Confessing in reverse. Now we have today, not today. So it's going to take some time. Okay, guys, have a little faith. But if you guys are stuck in each other. Focus on each other in love with each other. So it looks like the third party energy is still creating a bit of separation here. But don't forget we had a, a lovely moon and an eclipse. We're supposed to be looking for the good that's going to come out of it. But at the same time this eclipse and this retrograde energy is going to expose some snakes. So this it looks like the third parties are just getting exposed straight, straight, straight. And the real divine masculines are not choosing karmics this this round. I don't know if you guys noticed that. The real divine masculines are not choosing karmics on this round. So for the next how many hundred years, we're going to be having real divine counterpart, real uplifting of the planet, real healing of mankind, real progress. You understand? So your advice for this spread, Aries, is... Let us see what it's going to say. Mm -mm. Crazy. <clears throat> the 
this stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy and financial help, miracles and life changes and blessings your way. So your ancestors got your back. They know what's going on. They know the snake here trying to start drama because your person don't want them. Can you believe that's the first thing I'm reading, Aries? My God. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for subscribing. Mwah.